They were oppressors, racists, slave owners. And they inspired this fucking movie. Teamwork. It makes the dream work. That's leadership. America, the motion picture, is exactly the kind of movie you think it is. It's a big dumb action comedy filled to the brim with jokes about Americans, frats, racism, with over-the-top patriotism that could make even Michael Bay blush. And it's not some right-wing propaganda film, and it's not a radical left hit piece on the Founding Fathers. It's satire. Unfortunately, it's not funny. Like, oh my Comstock, it is not funny. So America, the motion picture, is about shocker America following the exploits of a fictionalized version of George Washington as he fights the British so that the colonies can be free from the empire. After his best friend Abraham Lincoln is killed by Benedict Arnold, who is a werewolf, go with it, Washington has to gather a team of freedom-loving Americans to save the colonies before it's too late, to gain their independence, and to create a land of the free, where all people have the right to fight. This film, as you can tell, has absolutely nothing to do with American history. All the Founding Fathers are just frat bros, every famous American is alive at the same time, and absolutely anything goes. Like Washington has wrist-mounted chainsaws, and Benedict Arnold is a fucking werewolf. The world makes no sense, and it really doesn't have to. This movie just wants you to have a good time. But outside of a few visual gags and a couple lines, I didn't enjoy this film. Like, I even watched this movie a second time after sleeping. He's like, I thought, no, there's no way it could really be that unfunny. I must have just been in a bad mood. But lo and behold, watched it twice, and I still didn't like it. Maybe this wasn't my cup of tea, but it really is a mediocre film. Terrible in some moments, but across the board, it is just mediocre. But before I shred this movie top to bottom, let me at least give it some credit by talking about the things I liked. Which is, um... I really enjoyed the voice cast. Like, across the board, I think every performance in this film is solid. They are doing exactly what the scripts ask them to do. Channing Tatum is George Washington, and he's playing the party boy badass who needs to learn how to be a leader. Jason Manzakis is playing Sam Adams, and he is killing it. Never has this man been bad at anything, especially when he's playing obnoxious. Olivia Munn is here, Bobby Monahan, Simon Pegg, Andy Samberg as Benedict Arnold was actually the best part of this film for me. He was one of the two characters that I actually wanted to see more of. Andy is just deliciously evil. He's slimy and an absolute tool. Where the heroes are these bumbling idiots who the story is trying to thread a line between them being privileged dicks while also having us like them. Benedict is just evil and they let him be dislikable, which ironically makes him the most likable character in the film. But it really does help that the main heroes are just idiots. The differing ranges of racists that the show has to always stop and make fun of, which got old real quick. But it did help sell the other best character, which was Geronimo, played by Raul Trujillo. Geronimo is perfect because he was just me, and how over I was Sam and George. While everyone else is talking about how much it sucks to be ruled by the British, how oppressed they are, because they have to pay taxes and have their parties ruined, and how it's so difficult living under the fun police, Geronimo is over here like, are you fucking kidding me? I got screwed out of my land. My people were murdered. What are you privileged man babies talking about? Oppressed? Y'all are just a bunch of dipshits. And that energy was just what I needed. He's watching these unfunny idiots just bomb at every joke. Yeah, I was at that level of just over this shit. And that's the thing that made Toronto great. Because he is us, who just want to get this all done with. As for other things I liked, the animation, really good. They use 2D rigs to allow them to make these really expressive characters, where it actually looks like they're moving their heads. It provides a range of motion that I'm just not used to seeing with this kind of art style. The backgrounds are also really good and have no reason to look as nice as they do. Action is fun, though it does have some musical issues that I'll get into later. The history jokes are also almost always hits. Not big laughs, but like, got little giggles out of me. Like, they have this whole bit where they're trying to find the Gettysburg address, like, an address that's in Gettysburg, or we have little Easter eggs like TNT, or the Americans losing in a bar called Vietnam. There are moments of genuine fun sprinkled into this film. It doesn't matter though, because the rest of the film is just a mediocre mess. Which is my way of segueing into my bitching section of the video. Look, I think this film didn't work for me for a number of reasons. The biggest one, it tries to toe the line between making fun of American culture and reveling in it. 
With this dissonance being the thing that pulls me out of this film so fast because I wanted this to be a ridiculous movie. I wanted to see the Founding Fathers just do ridiculous shit and then go home. What I got was a film that couldn't go two minutes without pivoting between America, fuck yeah! and sorry for wiping out all the indigenous people or making a reference or sorry that we're so ignorant. But look, we're doing fun things. Oh wait, we're trying to make a joke about guns in Walmart now. It's just pulling back and forth and I just couldn't stand it. This film wants to be two different things and by not committing to either one, they cancel each other out and I feel like I'm just watching an extended Bud Light commercial. And the comedy wouldn't be such a big problem for me if it wasn't for the fact that this film is non-stop jokes. It is always trying to get a laugh out of you. And this is the thing, I think it works till the title drop. Yep, that's right. For eight minutes, this film is funny. Everything after that, it just feels tired. Because after those eight minutes, you have seen everything that this film has to offer. Beer jizz and references, which, oh my God, there is so many references in this movie and they all feel 15 years too late. Like none of them add anything to the film. They're just references for the sake of it. Like we got Star Wars, we got Fast and the Furious, Hamilton, The A-Team, Titanic, more Star Wars, Robocop, and so much Star Wars. Like I like references as much as the next guy, but outside the Redcoats being literally just the Empire, they all felt pointless or land with a thud. Like this film should be targeting South Park fans. Instead of doing anything with it like they would do, this here is just copying and pasting what they saw from other films. Like occasionally they'll do a fun twist, like Paul Revere is drifting using a horse, and that is cool. And sadly, in a movie where George Washington has chainsaws, this was somehow the high point of the action for me. Like the animation is stellar, and this film can't do anything. But when it's always trying to top itself, and they're not delivering on the jokes, you just feel fatigued. You want them to move on to the next thing but when that doesn't land like you want them to move on to the next thing when when they do it's more the same you want to move on more the same move on more the same till you were just stuck at, sitting on your couch rolling your eyes throughout the entire movie with only the occasional giggle every 10 minutes or so and when the action finally hits you can barely pay attention because the music is going off. It, the music is just like the characters. It's too loud, it's all obnoxious, and it doesn't know when to stop. And this contributes to me just being sad because I wanted to love this film. The same week that this film came out, I actually started watching Fast and the Furious for the first time. With me being baffled by how much more I enjoyed watching Too Fast, Too Furious over this. I liked a live action movie more than I liked the cartoon. With the main difference being, F2, at the very least, isn't ashamed of what it is. America is. And it tries to cover up that fact by being self-aware. It is filled with these moments where it just goes, Oh, this is the first act. Oh, look, character backstory labels. Oh, we're talking about budget cuts and we need to save for the finale. But it's not fun. Being self-aware does not automatically make the film better. Like, for example, there was a moment where Washington thinks this is the time for him to give his big speech to rally his friends, only for them all to ditch him. Then he brings up how he thought he was going to do this thing, then they end up just doing what they were originally gonna do in the first place. Or for 30 seconds, he thinks that they're going to do the third act breakup, except it's just him. I honestly think that they have just played out these moments straight. We will have gotten way more laughs out of it. Because this film has moments where it stops being self-aware and commits to the America, fuck yeah! which are just some of the funnest bits in the film. This may be a bit of a leap, but I think America the motion picture wanted to be the next fight for your right. You know, this song that plays at every house party ever? See, the BC Boys actually wrote this song to be ironic, to make fun of the frat guys and obsessive partiers, except the people that they were making fun of loved it. It became the party anthem of America. That's what I felt like this film wanted to be. It wanted to be a satire film that rah-rah American crowd would love, while the snide critiques would be laughed at or ignored. They wanted to make a movie mocking frat bros that the frat bros would love. And that, I think, is the biggest failing of this film. Besides the fact that this just should have been a YouTube series. If you showed these characters doing this shit for like five minutes a piece, I think this could really work. Here though, for a full hour and a half? No, that is just simply too much. So I'm gonna just do some quick spoilers, so skip to this time code if you wanna hear my final thoughts. I've got nothing. You can predict everything about the film except what other movie they're going to talk about. Thomas Edison being a woman felt off to me. Like they could have picked 
any female scientist, but they decided a gender swap Edison was what they were gonna do. What, were they afraid no one's gonna know who Maria Meyer is or Elizabeth Blackwell? If you're just gonna do basic, haha, look at the sexist jokes, you could at least add someone new into the mix. Like, for Christ, that didn't stop them from bringing Clara Barton. Or how Blacksmith exists just so they can have him say, What? Are you white motherfuckers crazy? Then slave jokes. Only other thing in this film we're talking about, the finale is great. When America is finally formed and everyone is just beating the shit out of each other and Washington realizes they're going to screw this up. That moment got me. It was perfectly built up from everything I saw in this film. I just wish that everything that I saw in this film was worth that ending. Because sadly, this ending doesn't save it. It does not justify the colossal mediocrity that it is. I would not recommend this movie to my friends because this is not a good film. The comedy didn't work for me. If you find this film funny or even mildly entertaining, more power to you, because I think there are some people that could have a good time with this. But for me, it is a rapid fire mess. It is both somehow too smart and not dumb enough for its own good. Best way to watch this film. Probably the only way I watch this film again is with a group of friends and lots of alcohol. Maybe that frat mentality will finally get me to enjoy and realize what I'm missing. But if you're just sitting there with your lonesome, I don't think so. But for all you out there who've seen it, tell me what did you think? Did you like this? Like, really, I genuinely want to know. Did this really boost your 4th of July spirit? Let me know down below in the comments, and thank you all for watching. I'm Sarcastic Chorus, and please do it for the 4th, subscribe and like, because there's nothing, nothing more American than helping a mediocre white guy fail upwards. Love you all, peace out.